Hey, what's up YouTubers? This time I'm gonna do a little review of Newport 100s. Just plain out, plain old Newport 100s. They look like they got a Nike symbol on it. So let's see if it makes me run faster. Not really, but uh, yeah. Out here again, it's 83 degrees. Not too bad. Before it was like freaking Jesus. It was like a hundred almost last time, so it's not nearly as bad this time. Out here in nature, having a smoke. Pretty fun. Pretty fun. Had half a day today. Got off work early. Figured I'd hit the park. Just me and my devil lady Zippo. Good stuff. A good way to spend a day. New ports are pretty good. I think I've done a review of them before. Um, different type though, I think. These are just the plain new ports. It's the bluish package, not the blues. They do have Newport blues, which are really, really smooth, cool menthols. These have a good flavor, though. Touch of menthol, pretty decent tobacco flavor. These do fall apart on me very easily, though. Very tasty. Very, very good. Just got back from the DMV. Right after work, I went to the DMV. Had to get my license redone. Some different stuff like that. Mundane stuff every day. You know, bullshit crap the government makes you do. Got to make sure all my stuff is up to date. Then I came out here to relax. Probably going to go on a hike a little bit. Even though I'm a smoker, I do keep in shape, do the cardio. Cardiovascular, do a little bit of running. It might be hot out, but it really is beautiful. Uh, I really hope it cools down, though. My air conditioner wasn't really working that good for a while. I managed to um, fix it, though. The, um, where the water comes out, it was blocked up, so now my room is finally nice and cool. Very cool. You know, I've read that the longer you hold in the smoke, the more nicotine you um, actually take in. I'm actually going to give that a little try. It's relaxing. You gotta take a little bit of time out for yourself, you know? get away from it all, just sort of chill out. That's sort of why I make these videos. You know, it gives me a little time to, you know, just excommunicate myself from everyone for a little bit, just chill out and relax. Do a little thinking, reconnect with myself, it's good. I also have half of one I didn't get to smoke because I was actually going to the DMV, so I had to put it out. Um, lit this one up for you guys. I'm probably going to do the other one, too. 
I don't know, just because I feel like I feel like talking to the camera a little bit, you know? Vogue. No, not really. But yeah. You know what, I got this half of one, but I'm actually going to stash this up here. I've got little compartments built into my windshield. Not my windshield, my, um, what's it called? My visor. I'm going to chain smoke for you people. Woo. Chain smoking. Not recommended. <laughs> I'm gonna do two in a row, just for you guys, whoever's watching, you know. And um, whoever is watching, feel free to comment about anything, you know. Having a little conversation going is fun. You know, and um, anybody with a video camera, feel free to um, make a video too, just chatting or whatever, and make a response, anything at all. How do you guys like to relax after your work, you know? Make a little video or something, you know? Get in touch with your um, YouTube community. How do you like to relax? Um, how do you smoke, you know? What's your um, your ritual for it? Ever since the old Indian days and even beyond that, smoking was considered a ritual. You know, to bond with the community, with the people around you. Um, they called it the peace pipe. A good way to share peace, to relax. It's definitely it. Now, whether or not they smoked weed or actual tobacco, some some did both, you know. I'm more or less just a tobacco smoker, but... How do you guys like to relax? Post a video response. You know, of you chilling out, just what's on your mind. You know, how you like to do it. I can't wait to get that, um, the Virgil's root beer. It's pretty expensive, but it's supposed to be some of the best stuff out there, root beer-wise. After the 4th of July, oh, I had, um, a thing about this big of, um, Captain Morgan private stock, and I got, like, a 30-pack of beer, and, uh, I'm done drinking alcohol <laughs> for a while. That, that just, it took the fight right out of me. Took the fight right out of me. Took the fight right out of me. Now I'm just ready to relax. Go back to smoking every once in a while. Yeah, so um, don't be shy. Don't be afraid you um, you look bad or anything like that. You know, real world people, don't worry about what other people say. Just relax and do your thing. So I encourage anyone, you know, that doesn't have any videos or anything, go ahead and post some. Relax a little bit, light up a cigarette, even if you don't talk, you know. I notice some people, they um, they make videos, they don't talk and stuff like that. You don't have to. I mean, some people will hate on you, but just just let it slide. Life is too short, you know? Right now, I'm at a park. Um, it's a pretty cool place. This park has a whole bunch of ruins from way back from, the, I think, the Civil War. I'm not too sure. I'm going to go out there and take some pictures and stuff got some huge cannons. There's a memorial site where a soldier died in defense. Um, forgot what it was. It was some kind of battle took place. Pretty cool. There's a barracks. All kind of different cool little stuff.
pretty neat place. I come out here every once in a while just to chill out. It's getting a little toasty, but I can deal with it. Me and my UTG tactical messenger bag. I did a little video of that. I've got that thing with me. I take it with me pretty much everywhere. I practice um, survivalism. I like having my um, a little plan together. I figure people have a plan for um, for fires. You know, your building gets set on fire. You smoke detectors, fire extinguishers. Why not go the extra mile? Be prepared. The people of the United States were originally America's first line of defense, you know? Um, people may not always be around to save you. Having a little backup plan isn't bad. Just don't go overboard with it, don't make people afraid, because once you do that, then it gives the whole community like a bad reputation, you know? Pretty nice out. I've also got um, some American um, Spirits Black, which are really good. They're very, very powerful with nicotine levels, extremely powerful nicotine levels. Um, no adjectives or anything like that. I'm not trying to quit, but um, they're pretty good. And I'll probably do another review of those later tonight before I hit the sack. The cigarette's almost done. Pretty soon I'm going to hit the trail and have a good time. You know, if I got a little bit of money left in the bank, I think I'm going to get an icy. There's um, an icy stand not far from here. Good stuff. Oh, man. I haven't been to that place since I was like 10 years old. going to get an icy. What flavor should I get? I'll probably get the icy before you guys respond. But yes, video responses, comments, anything. Do it, people. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh yeah, it was a little intense, but yeah. Feel free to comment. Anything at all. Say hi. So I know who my viewers are, you know? I don't just view YouTube as like a, um, an information source. I kind of view it as a social networking place too. You know, good way to meet new people, chat. You know, when you just want to be in your own element. You have all the power, people. You know, you can block people, add people. It's all for you. Well, YouTubers. I burnt it down. I'm going to hit the trail. Happy trails, people. Take care. Leave some response. Take care.